Greetings and thank you for this opportunity to come to you today and spend a few moments in God's Word and just pray with you. We're talking about marriage preparation and just sharing some insights concerning marriage to help those who might be preparing for marriage. And, and this, of course, is, comes as a reminder for those of us who are already married. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, Right in the very beginning of the Bible, we have this very powerful, very succinct description or words concerning marriage. It says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. So this is right after God brought Eve to Adam. And in that context of Adam and Eve coming together, this scripture word is given to us. A man shall leave his father and mother. So in order to enter into marriage, there has to be a leaving, a leaving of father and mother. That means it doesn't mean we completely abandon or disconnect. That's not the implication. The implication is that in order to prepare to enter in to being married, being united with your spouse, the man, and this applies to the woman as well, because obviously both the man and woman are entering into that state of being married. The man and the woman leave their father and mother. That means that relationship which they enjoyed so long in their lives is now going to become secondary to the relationship that they're going to have and going to build in their marriage. And this is something we must learn, understand. That is, while we continue to honor and respect and relate to our parents and other extended family, the uppermost human relationship now becomes the one with your spouse. Some of us readily make this transition and in some cases this does not happen. And the outcome when this transition doesn't happen is usually conflict, is usually problems because God's order and God's design for marriage is not being followed. When the husband or when the wife continue to still hold on to their parents' apron string, so to speak, or the umbilical cord has not been cut, so to speak, and the relationship with their parents is still uppermost in their lives, it's going to result in conflict in the marriage. And so, as you prepare for marriage, you must prepare to leave. It means practically, you become financially independent, Emotionally, you, uh, while you honor and respect and relate to your parents, you're ready for something more, uh, another relationship that's going to become more important in your life. So practically, emotionally, in every way, you're preparing to leave. And that's very important. Let's pray. Father, we ask for grace to receive the truth and the wisdom that your word imparts to us, especially in this area of marriage that you will speak and minister, Lord, for those preparing for marriage and for those already in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.